In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this realistic falling effect in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks to my free plugin, you will be able to create motion graphics with real 2D physics. So make sure you download the CL Bounce plugin in the description along with Taquito scripts. I'll teach you how to install them at the end of the video. All right, let's get into this. So get a fusion composition, make it however long you want, go into fusion, get a background node and make the background whatever color you want. All right, next, get the text plus node from your toolbar or you can search shift space text. Next, I'm going to type in some text, press control, shift and space, and then this window should appear, select action. If you regularly press shift and space, it will say select tool up here. So you got to make sure it says select action and then type in separate, press enter, and then your text will separate each letter into its own instance text node. You can now delete everything else here. And now we have each letter, <laughs> get the CL bounce node. You can get it from my discord server or in the description plug your text into the yellow input and then get a polygon node and put it into the green input preview the cl bounce node click on polygon and then draw a line where you want the text to bounce if your line isn't a completed polygon and by completed i mean something that isn't like a circle or anything like that if it's just a line make sure to turn a border width and the reason is if you have the border width on zero and you preview the polygon node it just comes up as nothing so so turning up the border width will turn it into a solid line for the line to bounce off of. You also don't need to use a polygon node. Pretty much anything transparent will work and then play your footage and it should bounce like that. If you want to add some rotation, you can turn up bounce spin or the gravity or the gravity direction that also helps. So once you have a bounce that you're satisfied with, wait for like the first two bounces, go to velocity friction, make it zero. Now you have a more realistic looking bounce. Now make a keyframe during the middle of the second bounce. So for me, that happens at frame 38. Keyframe velocity friction, go to the end of the comp and make that one. And now your text will just stop bouncing like that. You can change gravity direction, bounce spin to make it look a little bit more dynamic. You can also set it to bounce trail and move the spawn X and Y offset to get a better view on what you're doing. There you go. I kind of like that bounce. All right. Copy your polygon and CL bounce node, paste and do the same thing for the rest of the text. Just connect it to the yellow input like that. And now preview and then get a multi-merge node. Connect your background to the yellow input of the multi-merge and then connect the CL bounce nodes to the white input of the multi-merge. Then connect the multi-merge to the media out. Now, when you preview your multi-merge, you'll have a bouncing word, but all the letters aren't bouncing in a different direction. So what you have to do is go into each bounce node and just change the settings around a little bit. So I'm going to change the spin and elasticity of the one in the middle. I'm going to change this direction, the gravity strength and the spin of this one. There you go. And if you want to make any adjustments, like I don't like how it kind of abruptly stops like that. Select all of the bounce notes by holding control and click. Go to spline and the velocity friction should have a check mark next to it. And you should be seeing one graph. That's because every single graph is the same. So you can press control A and hold alt and drag. And this will change the timing of when it stops. So I kind of want it to stop here. Then you can change the graph for each one. So it kind of stops at different times. The graph you pick doesn't really matter too much. Just do something that looks nice. And now for an added touch, you can get an extra background node, plug your polygon into it, get another merge and plug that background into the merge. So you know where the floor is and the text likes to bounce from the middle of it. So you can just get a transform node and bring it down to where the text would hit it. And there we go. If you want to have some fun with it, you can change where each litter is positioned and that will make a more dynamic bounce. Alternatively, you could take the keyframe off of the velocity friction. And you can just have the text continue bouncing like that. And afterwards, you can get a time stretcher node keyframe at the start and then keyframe at the end. Preview the time stretcher and then you can use the time stretcher to control how you want the text to move. So if I want to like go slow motion here, I would make a keyframe and then I would drag this end keyframe frame down and now it's in slow motion. If it's choppy like that, you can set it to flow Go to the optical flow node. Now when I preview it, it will look like proper slow motion. So that's another thing you can do with the effect or you can even make it go in reverse. So I'm going to make another keyframe, drag this end one down because it's going backwards in time. The lowest point is like the starting frame. The highest point is the end in frame. So now it's slow motion and then it goes back up. So that's cool. You can do that with it as well. And that pretty much concludes the text falling tutorial.